She's only nine years old, but she's already written a book to help save endangered animals. Please welcome the author of Let's Go on Safari, Kate Gilman Williams. Nice. That's your, that's your oh stool. God, you're adorable. <laughs> I've got two boys now, right? Like, well, I've had them for a long time, but I've always wanted a little girl. Like, she's just adorable. Can I take you home? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to go back. Now, we met on the phone over the radio when you called into my show. But just to give people some background, how did this all start for you on the safari? So when I was on safari in Africa, my game driver, Michelle, taught me so much about animals. And one thing she told me was that humans were killing animals. So when I came home, I became determined to do something to help. Which is great, and she's doing that. So she calls in, she's like, listen, that's what she said to me on the air, but I need a book deal. I need a publishing deal. So I said on the air, she needs a book deal. She needs a publishing deal. And you got one. Yes. At such a young age. That's incredible. Were you excited? What did that feel? What did that feel? It was exciting, right? Yes, I was very proud, but I was even more happy that I got to tell kids my age to how to advocate for animals. Wow. So wait, wait, when you were on safari, were you ever, like, afraid of these animals? Were they ever scary? Well, no, because your game driver teaches you so much about them, and she teaches you about the comfort zones animals are in, so you know how animals are feeling so you can back away. Oh, oh, heck yeah. Like, so, run away if you have to sometimes. I read the book. And in the book, there's a, there's a section, uh, and its headline is, Poop Tells a Story. Really? Can you tell us the story? So, um, when an elephant eats, sometimes it looks like grass, because old elephants don't have any teeth. So it looks like a pile of grass, because they can't chew their food. So that's the story of poop. <laughs> wow. Now, how can you help? You, you talk about ways to help these endangered animals. What, what can we do? You can adopt an elephant from the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. You can find your inner scientist with Global Wildlife Conservation or join the, or join the Jane Goodall Institute. Adopt an elephant. That's so wonderful. And do you have a little um, surprise yes. for Ryan? Yes. Oh, I have a surprise for you. Uh -huh. There's an animal coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's the surprise? So I've been thinking about the best way to thank you, oh, and so I have finally came up with it. You are now the proud foster of Delolo, a baby elephant oh at the Shelter Wildlife Trust. Oh, that is so cool. Look at, look at that. Look, Ryan, look. That's my, that's oh my, my Delolo. Delolo. I actually have tears. That's so Delolo. sweet. Wait, that is the oh, cute, and I know about the Lolo's poop and everything. <laughs> that is so, thank you so much. That's so oh. awesome. You're the best. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, you're doing such an amazing you're thing. adorable. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm like, oh, I get, thank you. Kelly, let's go on safari, available everywhere. Books are sold. Great to see you. Thank Fantastic you. job.